those of us who have been waiting for the sequel to 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy, the intermission is over. Volume 2 is the 15th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and they are all back, and then some. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute. Is that a rifle? You don't know what a rifle looks like? It's just swords were your thing and guns were mine, but I guess we were both doing guns now. I just didn't know that. Well, that's intense. There's a relationship between everyone, the good guys, the bad guys. Yeah. It's, I think, I, I believe that the b very best movies inform you what you need to know about a character through showing you their relationships. And I think that's how you can get to know anyone. I mean, you know, you show me somebody, show me your five, the people who, the five closest people to you in your life and I'll get a, a good cross section of who you are. And I think, you know, focusing on the relationships of people is a, is a wonderful way to get to explore those people and to learn about those people. You are wearing green. I am, I am, I can't get enough of it. And you're, okay, so how did it feel to get back into that green? It wasn't cool, trust me, because it's five hours of makeup, and now that I'm a little older, and <laughs> and, and I have you know a lot more work at home to do, because I have three kids, I'm, I, I would like to sleep extra hours, so waking up at 2.30 in the morning for a four hour makeup process is not fun for anybody. Um, but once you get to set, and you have all your gear on, and you see all of like your classmates, basically, <laughs> basically, and your director, you're reminded every single day that you're the, one of the luckiest people ever and that you're doing this for others and to give everything of yourself. Drew, put your seatbelt on! <laughs> so we're saving the galaxy again? Yep. Awesome! We're really gonna be able to jack up our prices for two-time Galaxy Savers. Yes! You had some of the best lines. When you're reading that script, do they does that resonate with you? <laughs> it it didn't at first. I didn't because I don't find myself very funny at all. So when I first read the script, I, and I was also expecting them to go a very different direction with Drax. So I had one thing in my mind, and I started reading another. And I don't find myself funny, so I was a little disappointed. And I called James, and we talked about it. I was like, oh, yeah, I just, I don't know. And then as the first day we showed up and did the table read, and I found myself laughing out loud at, at the script, and everybody's doing their parts. And, and then I noticed that everybody was laughing when I did my part. Uh, so I, then I started to feel that I started to get it, and, and uh, yeah, I was more in tune with the script. We can't get enough of these movies. Why? You know, I, I think there's. I, I think that a lot of times, you know, people think, "Oh, we love these superhero movies," but I think there's so many different types of superhero movies. There's the darker movies of Batman. There's the the fun, emotional movies of Guardians of the Galaxy. There's the sort of intrigue films of Captain America. And I think it's just, a, you know, a lot of what visual effects have allowed us to make these really spectacular films of different genres that seem to be superhero movies, but they're all very different. Do is yell at each other. You are not friends. No, we're family. Except maybe her. After all these years, I've found you. And who the hell are you? I'm your dad, Peter. This is such a fun movie, and it's so good to see you as Ego. And I know this isn't a, a spoiler. You're, you're Peter's dad. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, 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 when I read the script and when I saw Guardians, after they were talking to me about doing it, and I, I hadn't seen it, so I didn't know it. The minute I, I mean, I got ten minutes into the movie, and I said, "Oh, this is this is good. This is fun." Obviously, anyone can save the galaxy once, but don't miss Volume Two in your real-time theater.